All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Harnessing Helium. I'm Jacob Swin. I'm the product marketing manager at Helium. <laughs> Today, I'm here with UbiDots. I've got Augustine and Christina here to talk a little bit about some updates. Um, you guys were announced as one of our integration partners with Console. It looks like back in February, so almost a year now with um, you guys as a partner. So I'm sure there's lots of exciting updates from your end to share. So really cool. And um, let me see, just make sure for my viewers, um, we'll put some links in the video description as well once this gets posted to YouTube. So um, you can follow any links that we have in there. Um, okay, so without further ado, Christine and Augustine, you wanna, Christina, I'm sorry, and Augustine, you wanna just give us a little overview of what UbiDots is and does before we get started. Awesome, so Jacob, thank you so much for having us in this session of Carnage and Helium. We're happy partners with Helium right now. So yeah, a little bit about us, about UbiDots. We are an IoT application enablement platform. So we basically provide a whole set of toolkits for system integrators and IoT entrepreneurs for being able to quickly develop and launch entire IoT solutions without the need to hire a software development team or spending thousands of dollars or time to market. So with UbiDots, you can basically connect your devices and uh, connect to Helium and create beautiful dashboards and also deploy this under a white label for end users. So just creating IoT businesses. So that's in a nutshell. No, that's perfect. That's perfect. And people love to hear that too, the ease of use kind of thing. You know, the fewer barriers to get started, the better. That's great. Oh, cool. um, yeah, okay. Um, so like I said, you guys were announced as an integration partner back in February. So can you give us some... Um, like some big changes that have happened since then. Like I said, I'm sure you have a lot. So that's been a while. So what are some major changes on like the UbiDots platform since that new user announcement? Cool, let, let me take that one. So uh, for us announcing the, the Helium integration was a big step for us because it, not only because we were working with you as a company, but because it also triggered an internal uh, model that we were launching back then which is uh, UbiDots plugins, which has become the official way to integrate to other services, not only lower one platforms, but also uh, all types of APIs and services. So we've been growing on that front. We've added uh, AWS integrations, so you can now send data through AWS A IoT and then decode the data exactly uh, in, in UbiDots from the comfort of a, a Python decoding environment. Uh, we also launched an AWS S3 backup mechanism. So some customers just wanted to keep their files or their data backed up at night or every week or every month. Uh, we also added some weather integrations. So we used to have some basic ones, but now you can, uh, with, with just dropping one click or one pin, pinpoint in the, in the GPS map, uh, you can pull weather data without having to go and physically install a sensor. We just integrate in the back with some weather APIs so you can pull pollution data, well, humidity, precipitation, et cetera. Uh, so that's as far as plugins. And then of course, the, the platforms continue to grow in features. Uh, on one side, we've been getting more and more enterprise requests. So single sign-on, uh, two-factor authentication, not only for the admin of the account, but also for the end users, so our customers' customers. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so that's been a great addition. Uh, and then the reporting model, uh, we've mostly known within the IoT platform community as a, as a go-to place for nice dashboards. Uh, but we also added like a, a reporting model that allows our customers to sort of uh, pull the, those beautiful widgets along with some other charting capabilities into nice PDF reports or, or Excel reports that they can then schedule so that they can be sent to, to end customers. So imagine uh, a nurse at a hospital that needs to know the average temperatures of all the refrigerators that happened last week. And she doesn't have to go into the platform anymore, just receives uh, an email automatically every, every Monday, for example. So that's the type of flexibility that we look to empower our users with. And just some brief overview of, of new stuff. I'm sure you know there's more, we can reference some links in the description. Awesome. Yeah, no, that sounds very cool. Thank you for that. Um, kind of piggybacking on that a little bit. So for people who aren't super familiar with UbiDots, maybe like what, what's the main goal for the platform? You covered that a little bit there. And then what problems is it, are you trying to solve for your users? 
Yeah, I'll take that one. So <laughs> we think that IoT is not only about just the architecture of the solutions and the technicals, but we want our companies and our users to be able to actually launch an entire business using UbiDots. So that way uh, we put a lot of effort in the application enablement layer so that um, I'll give you some examples yeah. when yeah. they actually can use UbiDots in a white label manner and go to the end user as if it was their own IoT platform. So the real problem here is that if they were doing that on their own, they would take a lot of time and probably just money to make it happen. So this, this is like our sweet spot where we want to like really help. Nice, nice. Um, okay, so let's talk about, we talked about like ease of use and, um, you know, making it easier for people to kind of get started and going. So describe for me and describe for our listeners, like how easy is it just to set up the UberDots console integration once a user has an IoT solution? Nice. Yeah, I think uh, we can, share screens just oh to yeah i might need to enable that okay you should be able to so um yeah back then when we launched our integration so this was like kind of the top level overview so one really nice thing that we, we built for our users was uh erasing the need to physically enter uh the dev ui of each device yeah. so we figured you know if, if you're a, a potential user that already has hundreds of LoRaWAN devices plugged into your Helium account, then you shouldn't have to download a CSV file that is manually uploaded. So, you know, we, we should be able to do that automatically for you. So with, a, uh, with this pre-built pre integration, all the user does is just go to, to the console, create a, a, a UbiDots integration, uh, copy an UbiDots token, and then on their behalf, uh, Helium will automatically create uh, like an HTTP endpoint that already understands the Helium language. So we take your payload, we use that metadata to map it to UbiDots variables, and then we give you um, a, an environment where you can decode your, your data frame. So just real quick, uh, that environment, it's a, it's a Python, imagine it like a serverless environment where you can have cloud functions being run every time a device sends data. And the cool thing about, the, about that is that, well, on one side, you know, there might be some heavy lifting at the beginning because you know, we don't have like a pre-built decoder for every lot of one device out there. Instead, we chose to be to support a lot of powerful functions and plugins and uh, libraries that are already shipped with Python. So to give you an example, uh, last month we held a webinar about predictive maintenance and we were able to predict machine failure because we had enough data and because we had access to uh, Python libraries such as Pandas and SciPy mm -hmm. uh, that allowed us to, to do uh, a prediction. So this only to say that it doesn't matter how complex the decoding of the data could look like. The good news is you have the power of Python at hand and it's already built in uh, into the Helium integration. So to just to take a look of how that looks like in, in the console, sorry, in, in UbiDots. So once you create a, the plugin, you can see here what we were talking about, all the, all the different uh, plugins that we're supporting, AWS, et cetera. Uh, here's the Helium option. And once it's created, you you had you can see a tab here that's called a decoder. Uh, this is the endpoint that I was mentioning. It's automatically linked to your Helium uh, integration when, when you create it from from Helium. And here you have this access to all of those Python libraries that I was talking about, uh, which allows you to pretty quickly build very powerful integrations and decoding functions. Nice, nice. Okay, great. Um, so let's let's switch gears for just a second here. I know the Helium community, like back in February when you guys were announced as partners, was still very great, but it was it was a lot smaller than it is now. So the Helium community is growing really, really fast. Um, how much interaction do you have with the Helium community and what's it been like kind of working with them? Because I know there are a lot of resources, like especially like in our Discord and on social media and things like that, but a lot of people come to Discord you know, to get questions answered if they have issues, things like that. So what's, what's your experience been like working with that Helium community? 
Oops, you're a searcher's friends again? Yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> seems to pass yeah, she's something super cool. So, yeah, you're right, Jacob, with, like, Healing about a very vibrant community. And, in fact, we were super excited to learn that we have been an internal group in the city. It's not us. We're, we're not there, but as if it is, but it's, like, this IoT Medellin thing. Medellin is the city we're based for now. It's in Colombia, South America. Mm -hmm. They were actually doing a project to map the coverage of the helium hotspots. And you can check it out here that this is actually where we are. The blue, the blue spot is right now where we are at an office and it has a great coverage. So people are very excited and they're doing, they're starting to like just do their projects in, in both on the mining and on the IoT side. So that's mm -hmm. very exciting. Yeah, that's really cool. In fact, I, I want to mention that I, I took the, the chance to explore, you know, in Helium Explorer. And yeah. Other Latin American cities like Rio de Janeiro, Buenos Aires, Sao Paulo, even uh, Mexico City. And I would argue that uh, Medellin is the, 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 La the Latin American city with the most Helium coverage. Oh, uh, yeah? This is said, it's not because of us. Of course, we have <laughs> a couple of, uh, you know, of routers yeah. coming in. And, and we don't have more because we haven't been able to get a grip on those. You know, they sell out pretty fast. Yeah. But yeah. it's not just because of us. There's a community out there. There are meet meetup groups that come together and then just play with it. And then uh, when it's in the at the intersection with Hilo and Ubi Dots uh, and the Discord channel, I think it's it's been more about providing support to different decoders, different uh, brands, Rack, Row One the seed. different seed, seed yeah, sense yeah. cap from seed uh so we we've been you know attentive to provide the, that support to the community to get the right coders and then enlarge the, the decoder um examples that we have also yeah no that's great that was your chance to say it's all because of you down there in median and yeah exactly. <laughs> you could have bragged a lot about least that. Any, like we cannot <laughs> bribe because they're no, that's that's great um I know some of our integration partners have kind of their own communities. Does UbiDots have that? Is there like a link people can follow if there is a community that they can go and check out, like and interact with the UbiDots community? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we can leave it in the description. So Perfect. Both, uh, there's a Discord channel uh, with you guys, but there's also like a separate website where yeah. they can go and, and share ideas. Or just yeah, we work things. really hard to keep everything with very up to date in our all of our documentation and we have a very vibrant community. We've reached now around a hundred thousand developers. Oh so wow. that's great. And they are creating constantly just open source project and doing stuff. So our developers community is very vibrant and cool. happy to just send you the links. So we engage more users there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. For our viewers, that link will be in the video description. Um, okay. I think my final question here. So describe the ideal customer, <laughs> Christina, you look excited for that one. The ideal customer of the UberDots platform, and then just talk a little bit about some current use cases um, utilizing the UberDots and Helium in integration. Perfect. So yeah, I'm personally excited about this one. <laughs> That's good. Especially because of the uh, Helium and UberDots project, but I'll start saying who's our ideal customer. So it's basically companies that are solving industry problems by using IoT. So to give you an idea, uh, we have a mining company that they have to be compliant with the government, proving them that they're using their natural resources in a correct manner. Otherwise they would get multi-million dollar fines. So they're tracking with UbiDots their water usage and that way they've avoided so far like a million dollars or more in fines in less yeah. than two years. So that, just to give you an idea, that's like very specific industry problems. And jumping uh, to the real pro the projects that we're using, I'm going to share screen again. Okay. And yes, ma'am. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so we have a very good partnership that we create with a couple of companies. One is One Planet. This is the one that is orchestrating everything. But we also yeah. have Rack Wireless and, of course, Helium. Special thanks to Travis that has been like very helpful to make this happen. And what we're doing is that we we got together very powerful, like in terms of hardware and software to just make it easier in order to go to different projects. So this is one that is up and running right now. This is in France. This is like an ecopreneurial environment that they want to prove that you can live in harmony with resources and people and stuff. It's super cool. So they're yeah. 
it's in France and you can see like a real dashboard sending data to Helium and Ubidots and it's being tracked by a rack wireless device. So that's super cool. We also developed these beautiful kits that our idea is to distribute them around Africa mainly. Um, so what we do is that we want to lower down the technical barriers for schools and kids and also the government uh, to be able to track volcano data or how to teach schools to do hydroponic um, just projects in order to have better farming of their um, just crops and food. So this is great. These are already dis being distributed and we have ambitious plans to just send them to Liberia, Kenya, and other countries outside of Africa, like Jamaica, for instance. Uh, so this, this has been cool with a nice interception of partners and government and schools. So we're working hard to make it happen. So this is like a current project that we're excited about, Kenny Manubidats. Yeah, I remember when Travis kind of showed us that not too long ago, and that, that was really exciting to see. And that's really right. cool. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Right. Well, hey, Augustine, Christina, I want to thank you very much for coming on here and talking about Ubidots and super excited to have you guys on as an integration partner and to see what you guys are doing in now and in the future. Awesome. So, thank you, Jake. Thank you, Jake. Thank you. Well, it's Users Appreciation Month, so thank you, community, for all the feedback and for using it. <laughs> Can't wait to see what else you build with you with us. And reach out anytime. We love just talking to people and companies out there, so you're very approachable. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Thank you, guys, again. Talk Bye -bye. soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.